I gotta tell them and I gotta apologize. So before we start this video, I just, I have, I have to apologize to somebody and let you guys know something. So basically, uh, before we recorded this video, I was talking to two different people, not from the same company, but two different companies, and I got their names confused. So in this video, I give a huge shout out to Steve. Steve doesn't have anything to do with this video. I'm sorry, it's actually Nicole. So every time I say he or him or Steve, just pretend I'm saying she or her or Nicole. I'm so sorry, Nicole, you're the best and I hope you don't hate us forever. Also, huge shout out to Nicole from Apera. Yeah, what's going on? I'm Ratchet and Dank, right? Is that a Ratchet and Clank? That's a good one, that's a good one. Uh, and today's actually just gonna be a little short video. I'm super excited. This actually just came today. I usually don't record videos as soon as things come, but I'm gonna be using this like from this point forward. So I like, I literally have to record it now and we're gonna put it up super fast because I'm so excited for this. So basically when I started growing I forgot something, I'll be right back. I th This story starts a long time ago. I have to run upstairs because I forgot something. I'll be two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. So anyway, when I first started like my growing experience, when the homies over at Hey Abby sent over the the Hey Abby, <laughs> I, I was like kind of searching online a lot about like growing stuff and like, you know, what I should get, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but basically one thing I noticed, every single person that had growing hydroponics, because the hay, the hay Abbey is hydroponics. Hydroponics just means you're growing your plant in water instead of growing your plant in soil. So every single person had meters to test their pH and their PPM and their EC. And now I know what all that stuff means. <laughs> pH is how acidic or basic your water is. Uh, with cannabis plants, you wanna tend to stay between that 5.5 to like 6.0 range. And PPM is parts per million and EC is electric conductivity. Electricity, conductiv electric conductivity, it's electric conductivity, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But basically it's just, like how how pure or not pure your water is and plants at different like stages of their life need like either lower EC slash PPM or higher EC slash PPM. So EC and PPM kind of go hand in hand a little bit, but basically everyone had meters. And I did notice one thing, not a lot of people had the meters that I had because I figured most of these guys were like kind of professionals. <laughs> they've been, they've, the guys that I was like looking up on YouTube and I was watching their stuff, like most of them have been at this for a while, you know what I mean? So they had like nice meters. So I went on Amazon and I was looking, looking up meters and I found these. This this bad boy kit from Vivo Sun. It was 12 bucks for the both of them. And I was like, hey, like, that's what's up. I can get away with this. They're very basic meters. This one does pH and this one does TDS and EC. TDS, I think, is another word for PPM. I don't, I don't really, honestly, I don't know what TDS means. <laughs> Probably should have researched that before this. TDS stands for total dissolved solids, which is how many minerals well, I just read it word for word. This is how the amount of minerals and salts in the water or other liquids that you're using in hydroponics. So PPM, T TDS is measured in PPM, which stands for parts per million. I, I didn't know that part. <laughs> so I had these and I actually saw a couple of people that were like, you can get cheap meters online and that like almost swore by these, but I also saw a lot of people that after I had bought these already, uh, were like, the one thing about hydroponics you should never cheap out on is how good of a meter you have. Like, you should get a good meter. And from all the videos I've ever seen, everyone used this one brand, Apera. I'm, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm pretty sure I am though. It's A-P-E-R-A, Apera. So I don't know how it came to be, but basically Apera has 
so many options of things. They have like, I don't know how many different meters, but there's a ton of them out there. And I was looking through Amazon at all of them and they're like, they're not cheap because they're quality. You know what I mean? But I did want to reach out to Apera and ask them like, if I was going to get a meter, cause they have these like all in one meters that can do everything. But then they also have like just pH meters and just PPM EC meters. Uh, so I, I reached out to them and I was like, Hey, like just started getting to growing, blah, 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 blah. What would you guys suggest as far as like this five in one system or should I get two separate meters? And the guy, the guy, Steve, shout out Steve at Apera, who's amazing by the way, was like, well, I mean, it all depends. Like if you're going to be measuring like the same source all the time, like the all in one meter could really help. And I was like, that's, that's awesome. And basically me and him got to talking and I was like, you know, because I'm just starting to grow and I'm, I'm documenting it all on my YouTube channel and blah, 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 blah. And he was like, oh, well, how about if we send you out one of the ones that you were asking about, you just do a little unboxing for us. So they sent it out like two days ago and it got here today. This is my PC 60 meter. This is the one that I wanted. This is the one I was looking at. It's not cheap <laughs> at all but this is the company like this is like these guys are the standard for for like ph and ppm meters so like i'm so hype about this like i'm so excited so of, co of course i was like of course i'll do an unboxing video for you guys like that's amazing of course so you guys are guys literally gonna watch me unbox it for the first time um i'm gonna pull back these little tabs right now i think let me just push it from the back. There we go. That opens like that. This one does the same thing. I'm so excited. Like, I know it's weird to be like this excited. <laughs> this excited for, for like a meter, but like I really am because this thing comes with everything. I, I'm gonna show you in a second. So real quick, this comes with, where's the little thing on the side? This comes with a storage solution, a lanyard, a pH 4.0 calibration buffer, pH 7.0 calibration buffer, 1413, it's a little U symbol with the, with the line that comes out of it. I can never remember what that thing's called, but that S calibration system, 12.88 MS calibration solution, calibration vials, the tester itself, a user manual, and this amazing carrying case that makes me feel like I work in a laboratory of some sort and that I'm a scientist. And this is literally the coolest shit I've ever seen. I love this so much. Here's our full kit with everything that it comes with. It's got the solutions. It's got the little, the little vials. Oh my God, this thing is the coolest shit ever. Inside here, you get your little attention note. You get this little thank you for choosing a para thing. Love it. And also a ton of paperwork that we're gonna have to go through. Oh, look, our quality certificate as well. Little quality cert. That's cool. I love this, this is so cool. Meter measurement error is plus or minus 0 0.02. And it's already been done for us. Oh, nice. Right out the gate. So we don't have to worry about doing that for I mean, not like a long time, but a little while. We also have our premium series PC60, right? PC60 five in one tester user's manual. I'm gonna give that to Danny. She's gonna, she's the user manual. I mean, I'll also read it later, but she likes to go first. So she knows everything. And we have this entire little thing that's like everything about it. How to do calibrations, how to rinse the probe, how to do calibrations, how to install the batteries. I think this is basically like a short version of that. If you're, if you've got ADHD and you don't feel like going through the whole user's manual, but you should, but this is like a really nice little card to like kind of remind you of everything if you need it. This is awesome. I love everything about this. I'm definitely gonna keep that in there because I'm gonna need that. And something I love about it is apparently, I didn't even know this, but it runs off AAA batteries. So way better than these that run off these little shit batteries, these little, these little watch batteries that they come with. Oh my God. Imagine having to buy that. I already own, I already have a shit ton of AAAs. This is so perfect, but 
Comes with the entire kit. I'm so excited to start using this. Like literally I have to use it like almost as soon as we're done recording this video. So I'll throw some B-roll in of me actually using it. It's freaking beautiful though. Oh my God, I'm so excited to have an parameter. <laughs> like y'all don't understand. Like this is gold standard for for doing your pH and your PPM. And I'm excited because like, honestly, like I bought the solutions to, to do these because you can calibrate well, this one, I, you can calibrate this. I'm not sure how bad this one is, but I do notice that like, if I test the EC or the PPM of my water with this, it'll give me a reading. And then if I like, just kind of wait for a second and then go back in, a lot of the time I will get a different reading. <laughs> and I, at that point, I don't know which one to go with because they could be so different. Like sometimes I'll get like 1.6 EPM and then the very next time I put it in, I'll get like 1.2 PPM or 1.2 EC. Did I say EC the first time too? Cause I meant EC, sorry. But like it's, it, it literally jumps all over the place and the pH meter constantly moves to be honest. Like a lot of the times I'll like, I'll like, I'll count in my head and once like 10 to 15 seconds goes by, if it's on the same number, I'm like, all right, that's probably the number. And then sometimes it moves again after that. This one actually has a built-in system where if it detects the same number for 10 seconds, it'll lock it in and, and you're done. So I'm, I'm so hype about this. Something else I didn't know about this that is also very cool. Apparently this one has like a removable tip. So if at any point, like your shit gets all gunky and nasty, you can just buy a new tip for it and replace the tip. Not only can you replace the tip, but they have four different kinds of tips you can get for water applications, soil app applications. What is it? Is water solutions, solid samples and surface tests. So I don't know if I'd ever need the surface test one, but the solid samples would be good for, I'm pretty sure soil growing. And the one that I currently have on there right now, and apparently all of them can do water. Even the, even the one that you use on solids can also do water as well. That's cool as shit. I did not know that about it. And I had done a good amount of research on this bad boy uh, before I talked to Steve. But yeah, man, Apera has been basically top of the line since like 1991. It says it right there, fluid precision since 1991. They've been killing the game forever and I haven't come across a YouTube channel that recommends like, like a, like a growing YouTube channel that, that I watch. And by growing, I don't mean the channel's growing. I mean like they grow on their channel. I haven't seen one person that doesn't use a para instruments. Every single person I see grow hydroponically uses this, this company. And now I also get to use this company and I'm super excited about it. That's really all I got for you guys. I'm, I don't know if you'd like want to see me calibrating or not, but I'm sure you probably don't care. Uh, when you are doing calibration, the screen goes green. And when you're not doing calibration, the screen goes blue, which I also think is cool. So you can't ever f up accidentally being in calibration mode or not. But if you want to check out Apera, you can check them out at aparainst.com. I think it stands for instruments. Makes sense. I don't think I have any like coupon codes or anything, unfortunately, but if I do, I'll leave, I'll leave one right here. But you can also find them on like Amazon or anywhere that uh, a pair of instruments are sold. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here and go pH test all my water and PPM test and EC test. And it does two other two other settings that I don't think I even know. It's salinity, PPT. Oh, and it does temperature. That's cool as you do. This one also does temperature, I think. No, this one also does temperature. So this one does, um, I don't even remember, to be honest now. This one does PPM, EC, and temperature. That, that's it, PPM, EC, and it, it does have temperature on here. But this one literally does everything. Like I don't, I don't need these anymore. I'll probably keep these as in, in like, just, I mean, I'm gonna keep them because I bought them, but I'm I'm not gonna use these anymore. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. Hey, Abby update? Okay, so unfortunately I got this just as this week was ending, but here is a week 11 update for you from Hey Abby. Our, still no tomatoes because it's a tomato plant, <laughs> but uh, she's starting to come together. If you know what I mean, <laughs> she's starting to form these like little, you know, 
guys. <laughs> uh, and they look amazing, to be honest. They are so beautiful, and I cannot wait to see how much farther I'll be able to take her with this now that I don't have to guess around where her pH is. Because like I said, with these, I was I was never sure. I was never like really sure about it. But now, now I will be sure, which is amazing. And this is, this is really cool because I have a bunch of other grows coming up also, and I'm gonna need to make sure I can pH balance the water for those so this will this will be used so many so many times here is a quick time lapse of of lady carl our plant lady carl that's her name she's tomatoes she's a tomato plant and she is in maryland as anyone watching the channel knows i'm not in maryland but she's in maryland anyway enjoy the time lapse i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that shit normally you were you to do and I'll see you next time. I was, I was lost where I was. All right, sorry, I just looked confused for a second. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>